Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. In this concept video, we are going to solve binary decision diagram, which might come in your chat because that is known for new type of decision making diagrams or normal DI diagrams. We have question in front of us. I would say please pause the video and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question or at least tried. We need to find a truth table. That is a truth table is nothing but the Boolean algebra or the Boolean logic. In the functions x1, x2, x3 is given and we have the decision diagrams in front of us in which the dotted arrow is nothing but 0. So we can say this one is 0, this one is 0, this one is 0 and the complete strike is 1. The hard lines are 1, 1, 1, this one is 0, this one is 0, this one is 0, this one is 1, this one is 1, this one is 0 this one is one so we have to find the logic behind this outcomes we have one two three four five six seven eight outcomes if our functions are x1 x2 x3 then with help of which logic or with help of which algebraic which algebraic function we will get the following outcomes for example what do you mean by one as an outcome if we apply 0 and 0 and 0, that means if x1 is 0, x2 is 0, x3 is 0, the outcome is nothing but 1. Same, if we apply x1 is 1, x2 is 0 and x3 is 0, the outcome should be 0. So, which algebraic function is giving the same outcomes? Check with the option A. We have x1 into x2 into x3 is our function or that is nothing but the outcome. If we apply with the 0, 0, 0. That is nothing but 0 into 0 into 0 is 0. So, our outcome should be 0 if we have this logic or this Boolean algebra. But our outcome for the 0, 0, 0 is 1. So, we can say this one is not the answer. Now, we have to check x1, x2, x3 plus x2 into x3. Check with the same this one. If we have 0, 0.0.0, that means 0 into 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0, our outcome should be 0, but here we have 1. So, we can say even B is not the answer. Now, if all are the zeros, that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and multiply plus, again our outcome is nothing but 0, but we want 1. So, again C is not the answer. So, answer is either D or E. So, we have to check for the all 8 outcomes. Is D satisfying? all eight outcomes or not if satisfying then answer is d else answer is e now first check with the first two if we have 0 0 0 so 0 complementary 0 complementary 0 complementary plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 the complementary means 0 becomes 1 that is 1 into 1 into 1 this is the logic of the complementary function 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0 that is nothing but 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is 1. So, our first outcome is the outcome of the expression D or the function or the truth table D. Now, we have to check 0. What do we mean by 0? If we apply 0, 0, 1, means x1 is 0, then 0 and 1. So, we can say 0 complementary into 0 complementary into 1 complementary plus x2 plus x3, that is 0 and 1, 0 and 1 plus 0 into 0 if we have these values. So, we can say the complementary is 1 into 1 into complementary is 0 plus 0 plus 0. So, total outcome is 0. So, yes, again we have a right outcome with the help of D. We have to check with the other values. Even check with the 1, 1, 1. Are we getting 1 or not? So, 1 complementary, 1 complementary, 1 complementary is nothing but the 0 into 0 into 0 is 0. Then 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1. So, this becomes 2 and 2 is what is the on symbol that is nothing but 1. So, our answer is nothing but D. We consider 2 as an on symbol. Whenever they ask question on the binary decision diagram, since this is the Boolean algebra and mainly known to physics students, they would explain the logic of the complementary that is 1 becomes 0 and 0 becomes 1 and with the summation is 2 that would becomes 1. Our option number D is the right answer.
otherwise answer should be none of these if 2 is not 1. So this is a quite easy. You have to understand the logic. Jat is famous to ask different type of question on DI and decision making. I would say please read once, twice or thrice and try to solve the question. That would be the easiest question if you have some different data notation. Whenever you have some different data notation, try to solve that question. That would be the easiest DI of the Jat. I hope this one is clear.